Today we just want to do a quick demonstration of finding the intermedial layer and doing a measurement of intermedial thickness with the patient lying supine. Basically come in the cross section view of the neck, identify the common carotid artery, center it on the screen, swing into long axis, get a good long axis view of the distal common carotid artery showing as clearly as possible the intermedial layer along the far wall and once you've acquired that image to your satisfaction you can go ahead simply freeze the image during diastole at some point during the diastolic phase of the cardiac cycle go into your measurement mode in this case we're going to choose a lateral view of the common carotid artery intermedial thickness along the right far wall so we would go ahead and select that. That gives us our box, our region of interest. Simply position that and set and it will, the data will pop up and shows a mean of 0.68 millimeters with a maximum of 0.76, a minimum of 0.58. It shows a one centimeter box or 10 millimeter box. Standard deviation for our data points is very, very low, indicating a very good data quality as indicated also by the quality index on the screen of 0.97. If you need to adjust the size of the box, that can be done. You can adjust either up or down if you need to incorporate more or less. Or you can adjust the length of the box as well. You can extend that if you need to. We now have a 13 millimeter box, but you can see it really did not change anything. 0.67 millimeters is still our average intramedial thickness. You can see right here along these lines, the, the, again, an indication of the quality. It follows the intimal medial thickness layer very well. The lumen intima interface, the adventitia interface are relatively smooth. They're followed very nicely. There's no evidence of points of data dropout. So again, a high quality index and reliable data. And it's as simple as that. You would do this on the right side, do this on the left side, compare the two, and then you would have a mean and a max, maximum intermedial thickness that you could then put in the patient's chart and use that if you wish to help guide some of the management for avoiding and preventing cardiovascular disease. It is a very straightforward, simple process. And now it's your turn.